Since its release, the Team Orion Advantage Touch Duo has been one of the best chargers on the market. Thanks to its user-friendly touch interface, high-quality charge, built-in discharge and storage modes, it's a great piece of hardware that's always in my pit. Advances in LiPo technology has led to the Team Orion Carbon Pro VMAX LiPo batteries, which feature higher voltage than previous generation LiPo batteries. The new Touch Duo HV has software installed already, which is optimized for these HV batteries. And now, Team Orion has released this software update to the original Advantage Touch Duo. I've created this tutorial to show you how to apply this latest update to your chargers. The computer we're using is running Windows 7 64-bit, but the process is nearly identical for Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10 users. To start with, you'll need to go to TeamOrion.com and register your Advantage Touch Charger. This will give you access to download future software and firmware updates. Once you have the files downloaded, you will need to decompress them so you can properly access them. Once the files are decompressed, you'll find a howto.pdf within the instructions on how to apply the update. Starting in the root of the folder, you should navigate to the folder named Drivers. You'll find two EXE files here, and you'll need to determine which you will need to use depending on your computer system. If you have a 32-bit system, you'll use the underscore x86.exe file, while 64-bit systems will utilize the underscore x64.exe file. Simply double-click on the file and follow the on-screen instructions. Once the drivers have been installed, connect your charger to the computer using a USB cable, but do not connect it to a power source quite yet. On your computer, navigate up one level and back to the T-Duo 28 VMAX folder and run the firmware underscore upgrade.exe file by simply double-clicking on the icon. At this point, you may encounter an error that a certain driver is missing. In our case, the mscom32.ocx file was missing. Thankfully, Team Orion has included the most common missing drivers in with your original download. Once you've identified what driver is needed, you'll need to add these files to your directory. With our 64-bit system, I navigated to the C slash Windows slash SysWow64 directory by clicking on the Start button and pasting the directory name into my search box. This opened the link in the directory, which allowed me to simply drag the driver into this folder. You might think you're done, but there's one more step to this process you'll need to complete. You'll need to open up a command prompt for this next phase by once again clicking the Start button and typing CMD into the search box. From here, a black box will open for you to enter text into. Some may recognize this as a throwback to Microsoft MS-DOS, and there are many similarities here. In our command prompt here, you can see I am in the C drive user's Zcatcher directory. We need to get to the main C drive, and to do that, we need to go up a few levels in our directory. To do that, type CD and hit Enter. It is not case sensitive. Now I'm at the C slash users directory, so we're almost there. CD again and hit Enter, and now I am at the C prompt. One thing about this version of Command Window is you cannot use keyboard shortcuts to paste into the line, hence why we get the up carrot and V if I hit Control V. You can right-click on your mouse, and there is a paste option, but I have decided to type in the command that I need. The exact file structure is outlined in the PDF. For my example here, I'm typing in regsvr32 space c colon slash slash windows slash syswow64 slash mscom32.ocx. Be aware of the space between the 32 and the c in this command line. Once the command is successfully entered, simply hit enter and it will execute the file. 
Once the file is finished, we can once again go back to the firmware underscore upgrade.exe file and try to run it once again. It is not unusual to get a notice that another file or driver is missing. However, in my example here, I only needed to add the MSCOM32. Within the software, select the COM port from the drop down menu in the top left. In our case here, it's simply labeled USB. Now click the open button and select the downloaded firmware update you wish to apply. Once the information is populated to the app, connect the charger to your computer via a USB cable, but don't connect it to a power supply yet. Once your charger is connected via USB, now is when you hit the upgrade button. When prompted to, connect the power cord to the charger and plug it into the wall outlet. The update is fully automated from this point and you will not need to do anything further. Once the update is completed, your charger should power up on its own. If it does not, disconnect and reconnect the power cable. Upon restarting, you can see the firmware version now displays 2.8, the latest version as of the time of this recording. If you hit the advanced menu option, you can see that you are greeted with a disclaimer stating that modifying any of the advanced menu options incorrectly could lead to potential damage and you accept all responsibilities for your actions. You may think you would adjust your cutoff voltage for HD LiPos in the charge and the voltage screen. However, this is not correct in this instance. You need to navigate to the battery type menu and actually select HD LiPo from the screen. Once again, you are met with a disclaimer to make sure you are only using this setting screen with HD LiPo battery packs. Once you accept the disclaimer terms, you can adjust your settings, including your charge rate and end charge voltage settings in the menu shown here. As you can see, upgrading the firmware on the Team Orion Advantage Touch Duo can be achieved in just a few minutes' time. I hope this tutorial has helped you get the most out of your charger, not only today, but well into the future, too. Make sure if you found this video helpful to like, share, and subscribe to keep up to date on more tutorials such as this. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.